Hello, I'm Danny Holbing, I'm 13 years old, and I'm here to talk to you about self-sustaining aquaponics. Aquaponics is the combination of growing plants in water without soil and growing fish in mass numbers. The technical terms for these two things are hydroponics and aquaculture. The plants benefit from the fish because they use the nutrients in the fish excrement to grow. The fish benefit from the plants because the plants act as a filter. The water with the fish excrement is pumped up to a system of some sort and run through while the plants pick up the nutrients. The clean water is then either pumped or run back into the fish tank. That is why aquaponics is great. Everything fits together and works together. I had always enjoyed fish in their behavior, whether it was catching them in a pond or watching them in a tank. This interest was actually started with a small 20 gallon fish tank at my home. When I was in third grade, I set up a fish tank for a class all by myself. This love for fish was always inside me and is still continuing, but my interest in aquaponics was actually started in sixth grade. My sister had been in the adolescent program, which was the seventh, eighth, and ninth grade years for our school. In this adolescent program, there was the option of working in the aquaponics lab. She was telling me all about it and it really interested me, so I started looking at things to do with aquaponics. So when I went to the adolescent program the next year, I could be ready and qualified to work in this lab. Last year, I got the chance to work in this large aquaponics lab and it really sparked my interest in design systems and breeding fish for aquaculture. Before this, I had worked with smaller systems and smaller fish but this was the first time I was working on a larger scale. I had been working on breeding and crossbreeding fish for about a year before this time. I had done some research and noticed that there are many wonderful crossbreeding possibilities. When I was saying about crossbreeding combinations, I always kept in mind which outcome would be appealing to the public. I wanted the outcome to be appealing so that if I got the chance to work in this large scale lab, I, we could breed these fish to sell to the public. Not only, not only, I not only loved to do this research, but I also loved wanting to see what would come out of it. I had also made many small systems, such as what I called the box system or the bottle system. The bottle system was an empty two liter soda bottle, which I cut holes into for netting pots. Then I used the hole where the ball cap would go for a tube, which led the water out of the ball back into the aquarium. I cut a hole in the bottom of the bottle for a tube which for, from the pump into the bottle. Even though I'm sure other people had used this idea, I made the system for my own mind. I also designed the box system, which was a chain of containers with holes in the lids for netting pots. The water was pumped to the main container and whenever a container f filled up to the transfer hole, the water would flow into the next container without a pump, which was very convenient. When the water reached the last container, the water would flow down a tube rather than a transfer hole. Whenever I was designing a system, I would try to make it have the highest efficiency possible. By efficiency, I mean plants picking up as many nutrients as they can, fish growing faster, plants growing faster, etc. I had a small idea that we could maybe make a self-sustaining aquaponics system using alternative energy. A self-sustaining aquaponics system meant that it was a system which ran purely on alternative energy and a system which never had to be maintained. Many people ranging from top class professors to the average citizen have been working on and using the same idea for making alternative energy. Aquaponics is not only a fast way of growing plants and fish but is also one of the most eco-friendly. Most agriculture uses oil but aquaponics uses only electricity, making it very easy to sustain. Growing plants in the ground can also lead to many pest problems, plant diseases, and nutrient loss in the ground unless crop rotation is used. Most farmers do not use crop rotation, and even if they do, they often do not leave the plant to grow for long enough, which can lead to topsoil erosion. Lots of topsoil erosion can lead to a second dust bowl, but that's another topic for another time. Aquaponics can help with erosion because it does not use soil. It is also eco-friendly because the plants thrive off the fish and the fish thrive off the plants. One of the best and easiest way of making a self-sustaining aquaponics system is solar energy. The solar panels would be attached to a generator which would have outlets for pumps and filters. 
The solar panels would generate enough energy to make the pumps and filters work so that no energy would have to be taken from an outlet. This would result in less cost of energy and less energy being wasted. My idea would be a system I designed all by myself to be integrated with solar panels of some sort to make self-sustaining aquaponics. My system is called the tower system and it is designed to have on each shell and is designed to have optimal efficiency. It, it consists of a metal shelf or tower that eight pl plastic containers, two on each shelf, rest on. The containers have holes in the top for netting pots, which hold the plants. The tubes are run from each container to the next from the side downwards, and the last container runs a tube back to the aquarium. The water is pumped to the top of the tower where it is divided by a PVC pipe. The water then runs down both sides by PVC pipes into the plastic containers to transfer the nutrients to the plants. The water then runs from the last two containers back into the aquarium by PVC pipes. This is a great system because it, not, it only uses one pump and gravity does the rest. Up to three towers can be connected on one pump, which saves, which saves energy. It also saves space because instead of having three wires for pumps, you only have one. If this system were connected with a solar panel, it would be very energy efficient and nutrient efficient. In my opinion, this would be one of the great systems that could be used for a self-sustaining aquaponics lab. I wanted to share this idea because I felt like it can change agriculture and change the way people look at designing aquaponics systems. Often farmers cut corners when they don't use crop rotation or when they don't let plants grow, and this can lead to bad soil problems. Aquaponics eliminates all this because the nutrients come purely from the water and the fish excrement. Aquaponics also earns more money because, since you are growing plants and breeding fish. Aquaponics is in the shadow of now, but it is definitely a light for the future of agriculture. Thank you.